finding the best gaming keyboard can be confusing, filled with different obscure switch names and strange keycap jargon. So how do you go about finding the keyboard that fits your personal taste in typing, the space you have on your desktop, and what games you primarily play? Well, in this video, we break down the top 5 gaming keyboards on the market this year, based on performance and situations they'll be used in. We'll be taking a look at gaming keyboards in every budget range, so whether you're looking for the best budget gaming keyboard that'll give you the basics, or a premium keyboard with state-of-the-art key switches, we'll have an option for you. So if you're interested in finding out which gaming keyboard will be best for you, stay tuned. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. We'll start with the Razer Huntsman Elite, our choice for super fast gaming keyboard. The Razer Huntsman Elite is one of the best selling gaming keyboards in the US and uses an internal switch that makes it super fast while maintaining precision and accuracy with every key press. And for added comfort, the Huntsman Elite also features an ergonomic wrist rest. At first glance, you may not even think that the Huntsman Elite is a gaming keyboard, but once you plug it in and the RGB lights come on, its gaming credentials are confirmed. For starters, the Huntsman Elite raises the bar with some additional visual and functional flair. It features a clean aluminum matte black aesthetic with a rectangular profile, and it has modern rounded corners. The RGB backlighting accents the sides, and the wrist rest fits in nicely and offers a comfortable amount of bulk and leather at padding, and attaches to the keyboard using magnets, so any breakage you might have seen in the past with other keyboards in their flimsy plastic hinges or clips is a thing of the past. Once the wrist rest is connected, the chroma lighting on your keyboard syncs with it and stays cohesive, giving you an impressive RGB setup with the keycaps appearing to float over the deck. The big distinction of the Huntsman Elite is in its keys. Rather than using the traditional mechanical switches, Razer's optomechanical switch algamates both optical and mechanical properties. You get a keyboard with lightning fast speed, while at the same time reducing interminal physical contact so general wear and tear are decreased, boosting its lifespan with durability of up to 100 million keystrokes. Another excellent feature is the multifunctional digital dial on the top right side. You can customize it to control your mic volume, zoom in and out, and even to swap weapons and more. With a clean aesthetic, a wrist rest, RGB lighting, and ultra speedy mechanics, the Razer Huntsman Elite offers just about everything you could ask for in a gaming keyboard. If speed's what you're after, this one is for you. Now we'll take a look at the Corsair K100 RGB, our choice for best overall gaming keyboard. Every detail of the Corsair K100 RGB mechanical gaming keyboard is built for speed, and it's equipped with premium features to give you a first-rate gaming experience that makes it one of the best overall gaming keyboards available right now. The K100 sports a classy brushed aluminum top plate, and on the sides of the keyboard, there's some nice molded accents that add a bit of structural support along with some stylistic pop. This keyboard comes with a magnetic wrist rest, which is padded and wrapped in textured leatherette, which feels premium. Along the top and the center of the board are LED indicators that are super clean and clear when lit, and totally invisible when not in use. The K100 packs in the most RGB ever for a Corsair keyboard, having full per-key RGB on everything. There's also 44 zones of edge lighting to wash your desktop with some ambient light without being super distracting. One of the less obvious new features of the K100 is the Axon Hyper Processor that allows for four times the throughput of traditional gaming keyboards and lightning-fast connectivity over USB 2. The OPX switch has an ultra-fast actuation of 1mm and a total travel of 3.2mm that only requires 45 grams actuation force and the keys feel quick and nimble for gaming. One of the coolest new additions to this keyboard is the IQ Control Wheel. It comes bound to four functions by default, letting you use it to control the brightness of the keyboard, rewind or fast-forward media, and more but you can use it for things like app switching, zooming, or creating just about anything you could imagine in-game. The action on the dial is smooth with light tactile feeling. Clicking the center button will change between functions, and the dial will change colors to reflect which mode it's in. The Corsair K100 RGB keyboard has a lot to offer, and if you take the time to customize it in a way that streamlines your gaming experience, this keyboard is hard to beat. Next we'll be looking at the SteelSeries Apex 3, our choice for best budget gaming keyboard. The SteelSeries Apex 3 is a full-size keyboard with rubber dome switches and RGB backlighting. It'll give you a decent gaming experience and won't break the bank doing it. Being a full-size keyboard, you're going to get things like a number pad and function row shortcut keys, but one thing you won't get is a full set of dedicated media keys. But you do get a volume roller, and the buttons right below it adds functionality for pausing and playing or skipping forward or back. SteelSeries went for a floating key design, which looks pretty good because the housing for each of the membrane switches are a frosted white plastic that picks up the color of the RGB lighting and creates a nice glow effect. The frame is an all-plastic design with a fixed cable. The underside of the keyboard has cable routing options that will let you specify where you'd like the cable to run out of, and a set of rubber feet help to prevent sliding, and flip-out legs give you a single level of adjustability for incline. The included wrist rest attaches to the keyboard with magnets, but isn't padded at all. But it does have a soft finish on the top, and it actually feels pretty good. For RGB lighting, you get 10 zones to customize, and you can choose each of those individually if you want, set different effects or colors in each of them, or you can just choose them all together. You do get a lot of different choices, even though you don't get a lot of effects to choose from. Since you have so many different lighting zones, you can really customize it to exactly how you would like. Changing the color and speed of effects as well, you can add macros to remap the buttons as you'd like. 
If you're on a tight budget, the SteelSeries Apex 3 is a good gaming keyboard that even gives you a decent range of customization. If you're interested in updated pricing on any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. Prices update on these products almost daily with sales and general price drop, so if you want to find the most updated information, check the description. If you find this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving this video a like and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below. This brings us to the ASUS ROG Strix Scope, our choice for best gaming keyboard for FPS. The ASUS ROG Strix Scope is a 10 keyless keyboard that's ideal for FPS gamers. Being 10 keyless, it not only has a sleeker overall aesthetic, but with no number pad, the much smaller footprint gives FPS players more room for mouse movements, which is perfect if you play with low DPI and broad movements. For comfortable use, an ergonomic wrist rest is included that attaches to the keyboard with magnets and has a leather wrap finish with plenty of soft padding. The top plate of the keyboard is made from a single piece of aluminum that's bent around the front lip of the board and really exudes quality. This keyboard offers per-key RGB lighting and even projects an underglow, extending the lighting beyond the keyboard, and the entire color spectrum and a range of dynamic lighting effects are at your command. Another notable mention is the oversized left control key, which is one of the most important keys for FPS gamers. The large size makes it almost impossible to miss, no matter how big or small your hands are. You also get an on-the-fly macro recording key to make your FPS gameplay faster and more efficient. Without macros, you might be in a situation where you're zoomed into an opponent as a sniper, and you need to quickly zoom out, switch to your pistol, and then fire off a round of shots because you noticed an enemy right behind you. You could try to pull this off the conventional way with a series of button presses and mouse clicks, or you can set up a macro that will handle all the actions with one button press. Everything is done with less effort and in less time. And in FPS games, a moment's hesitation can spell death. If you want to improve your FPS gameplay, the ASUS ROG Strix Scope would be a great choice for you. Between the smaller TKL size, extremely comfortable use, and the programmable macros, you'll definitely get a jump on the competition. Last, we'll be taking a look at the Razer Huntsman V2 Analog, our choice for best premium gaming keyboard. Razer's Huntsman V2 Analog keyboard uses optical switches to provide joystick-like controls. It's an innovative twist that mashes together keyboard and controller support into one premium package. Taking a look at the keyboard, you'll see that it has the same exposed floating switch design as the Huntsman Elite, and a revised magnetic wrist rest, giving you a little bit more usable surface area and a little more padding. There's also a USB pass-through that's perfect for plugging in a headset. The font on the keys is clean and crisp and fully illuminated. The lighting continues with the underglow on the bottom and sides of the keyboard and around the wrist rest. What sets this keyboard apart is the analog switches. The force curve on these switches range from 54 to 74 grams at bottom out, and they allow for more finesse, as the switches can be pressure sensitive like a joystick. So in the same way that a joystick might have you go from walking to running the further you push it down, these keys will behave in the same way. A cool way to use this would be to bind your WASD keys to actuate at 1.5mm and then set some of your ability keys in game to a deeper actuation to prevent you from accidentally firing them off. Or you could bind two functions to different points in the actuation of the switch, so you could bind equipping a weapon to the 1.5mm point and then firing the weapon at the deeper point, letting you equip and fire in the same action, kind of like a quick macro. The Razer Huntsman V2 Analog Gaming Keyboard delivers customizable actuation and dual-step key activation, giving you an edge over your opponent in competitive online games. It's far from being cheap, but that higher price comes packed full of features that really makes it worth it. Alright guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market right now, so if you want to stay current regarding the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you back here soon for the next video.